All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a 49er video. And, of course, Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. Check them out. They're in Emeryville at the Emeryville Public Marketplace, open uh, Wednesday through Sunday. And they're open seven days a week in Corte Madera. Get the brisket. Get the brisket chili. It is a phenomenal restaurant. Check out Pig and a Pickle and their two locations here in Northern California for the best barbecue you're ever going to taste. All right, let's talk 49ers. Mike Garofolo reporting a couple days ago that the Niners have agreed to terms with defensive back Miles Hartsfield, who was initially a restricted free agent, <clears throat> and then the Panthers non-tendered him. So that made him unrestricted. Um, and, you know, this is a really, really good athlete. This guy was undrafted, undrafted free agent at Ole Miss in the 2020 draft. And then Steve Wilkes has been, you know, the defensive coordinator in Carolina where he played last season. He played 812 snaps of those 343 came in the slot. 256 came at free safety. You could make an argument that losing Jimmy Ward, I mean, the 49ers are, need as much help as they possibly can find at both of those positions, free safety and at the nickel spot. And here comes Hartsfield, who Wilkes knows uh, really well from Carolina, and he's a versatile player. And, you know, he's a versatile player that can come in and help in both spots. Um, and as I said, he's a tremendous athlete. If you go back to his pro day coming out, he ran 4-3-9 in the 40s. So this is a sub 44 guy. He had a 38 and a half inch vertical. These are these are top of the scale kinds of numbers. So um still a young player. Doesn't turn 26 until August and finished this last season with 58 tackles including five tackles for a loss and a forced fumble. He allowed a 64.7 completion percentage on 34 targets with two touchdowns allowed and a pair of pass breakups. But Niners not only lose uh, Emmanuel Mosley, not only lose Jimmy Ward, but they also lost Tarvarius Moore. And Tarvarius Moore signed with Green Bay. So Moore's not there either. So what does Hart's feel to me? It's just quality depth, quality veteran depth at positions of need where you really can't fake it. You know, you can't fake pass coverage in the NFL. You got to have guys that you believe in. And Steve Wilkes is going back to Carolina for a guy that he believes in. Um, I expect Hartsfield to take Tarvarius is Tarvarius Moore's spot um, as that you know incredible athlete in the secondary who can contribute on special teams and fill in at a pinch and in, in any spot. I mean, Tarvarius Moore didn't have great instincts as a safety, but he was big, strong, fast, and definitely could could you know step in. Um, he wasn't the most natural corner, but once again, big, strong, fast, and so you could throw him in there. Um, if, if you had to, and he was a great special teamer, and that's exactly what Hartsfield is. Um, he's a really solid nickel corner is what he is at the end of the day. Um, and then he's going to help you on all your core special team units, your kick coverage units, your punt, punt coverage units. This guy is going to be a major uh, ally for, for Coach Schneider, the Niners special teams coordinator. Um, but what I like the most about Hartsfield – He's good against the run in the nickel. See, when you play, when, when today in the NFL, teams are playing a ton of nickel um, and a little bit less dime, but a lot of nickel defense. And you got to be able to have guys that can, you know, make plays, you know, see the run fits, throw their body around and make plays against the run. If you can't stop the run, that's all you're getting all day. So, to me, to have another player in your secondary that can help you on the nickel or at nickel corner, um, you know, can help you at free safety, is good against the run. He's a good blitzer off the edge. That's another thing with Hartsfield. Really, really aggressive player off the edge. But, you know, unlike a lot of aggressive players off the edge, he's also a reliable tackler. Um, and, you know, if you watch him play zone, he, he's, he's, you know, he moves in zone in the zone effortlessly. There's great awareness there. Um, he's a smart player. You know, when you watch him play in a zone, he looks pretty fast. His main issue from what I can tell is he's not great in man to man. And if you had to, if, you know, if you played a lot of man coverage, uh, potentially teams could isolate him in man coverage and burn him. But the rest of his, the rest of the combination is pretty good. And what you look at what the Niners are doing right now. So they lose Jimmy Ward, they lose Emmanuel Mosley, they lose two really 
really important, impactful veteran defensive backs. I mean, I can't emphasize this enough. Mosley was, you know, as physical as it came in the run game. Jimmy Ward was like a linebacker. You know, Jimmy Ward was a great player. He covered like a corner. He hit like a linebacker. Very valuable players. And even though Hargrave is a phenomenal addition, losing Mosley and losing Jimmy Ward, that really hurts. So what have they done? Well, they brought in Isaiah Oliver. You know, and Oliver's been a really good slot cornerback. So now you've got Hartsfield coming in, uh, Miles Hartsfield, to join Isaiah Oliver. You still have Samuel Womack. So you're going to have a pretty good competition there in camp um, for the slot corner position, which is a vitally important position. Um, and then and, unless we, unless there's a chance that Steve Wilkes looks at Hartsfield and says, you know what, he's a, he's a free safety um, and a, a, a potentially a really good one. It's a one-year deal. He did start 10 games for the Panthers last year, um, but, you know, he was a restricted free agent. And then, like, the Niners re-signed their restricted free agent, um, Kevin Givens the other day, you had to decide to either tender or non-tender your restricted players. They non-tendered non-tendered Hartsfield. So that made him an unrestricted free agent. Um, also, I just one of the things that you see a lot in football is you see a coach move and then he brings a player that he has faith in. You know, the one thing about Steve Wilkes, Steve Wilkes has been the defensive coordinator in Carolina. Um, you know, he's, he, you know, he served as the pass, the defensive passing game coordinator in Carolina. He served as the secondary coach in Carolina a year ago. And so he knows, you know, he knows what players he needs. And if he feels good going for Hartsfield, then you know what? Great pickup. But I think overall, it's a great pickup for a lot of reasons. One, he's a tremendous athlete. Um, and that travels, Two, you, you, he plays the two spots that you're really not sure what you have. It also gives you great versatility or great flexibility, I should say, for the upcoming draft. If you find somebody that's just phenomenal at free safety, you're covered on the slot. You find somebody who's a tremendous slot corner, you know, you're covered with another body at free safety. So it's quality depth. It's depth that obviously uh, Wilkes believes in. And it's a great athlete who looks like he's coming into his own, who's played really productive football. And as I said, he's really good against the run in the nickel. So Isaiah Oliver, Sammy Womack, um, definitely Miles Hartsfield, uh, all competing for that nickel spot. And who's and now and now you got flexibility going into the draft. So I think it's a great pickup. Obviously, it's a low cost pickup. You're you're not breaking the bank for Miles Hartsfield, but a under the radar pickup that I guarantee you there's going to be a point next season where people are looking around going, you know what? I didn't even think it was that big of a deal in, you know, mid late March when John Lynch picked up miles Hartsfield. And now I realized that was a significant addition. So um, I think it's an underrated pickup by the 49ers and a good one by John Lynch. And of course the new defensive coordinator, Steve Wilkes, who I'm sure had a huge hand in it. All right. Hope you enjoyed our 49er video. Uh, check out pig in a pickle in Corte Madera and in Emeryville, the best barbecue in Northern California. And of course, like, and subscribe to the Krug show. We'll have great Niner coverage all the way throughout the year leading into the draft, which is coming up next. So look for our stuff on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed our 49er video until next time. Thank you. And of course, thanks to our sponsor pig in a pickle.